Hey, welcome back. Uh, okay, so... Oh, okay. Hey, uh, so I'm working on this. This is the next piece. I, I just showed you... Uh, oh, well, wait. Uh, welcome back to uh, Uncut, Unedited, Raw. Uh, got no editing software, so I'm not going to be doing any type of edits. And I'm not doing a script. I'm going straight into it. So, uh, this is... My second piece for the August, uh, August needs four. This is my second one. I, I'm going to put the Black Spider-Man logic in the, the previous video of Cool Herc in that bad boy. So, uh, I want to introduce the next piece, which would be piece number three. Uh, this one is called The Tale of Three Cities, all right? This is called The Tale of Three Cities, and I... Uh, this one is featuring one of my favorite artists, the best hip hop artist out there, uh, by my definition of who I am and spoke to me uh, on so many levels, Mr. Lupe. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Lupe, if Cool Herc uh, never did what he did and hip hop didn't come to now, then I wouldn't be faithfully walking in hip hop. But Lupe kind of okayed it for me to be Starboy. You know what I mean? To be who I want to be. To be what I want to be. And not what somebody else wants me to be. I mean, you got this black kid talking about kick and push. Which, is, even in Indianapolis, isn't the biggest thing for you know a bunch of black people to kick and push. And I think him, Hospin, uh, a couple of other people uh, made it where it's like it was almost like being in between a culture and not creating its own culture and then tapping into beat culture you know what I mean like anime and uh, and then you start you see people don't, didn't, don't get it like I've been in anime since forever, since before they started putting Pokemon in their rhymes, you know? And when I, I, I mean, I'm talking about years, I'm talking about Dragon Ball Z first hit my life was when I was middle school, which was 17 years ago, you know? And I've been in it ever since. One Piece, I've seen all 700 episodes. I psh, Don't get me started on how much anime is in my life, you know? And uh, anime, unfortunately, isn't in everybody's life. And that's why, you know, things happen the way they happen and things, you know. Well, if you ain't got anime in your life, you got to open your mind and you need to step out of the box and you need to start watching some of that anime. It's a different type of culture. It's a different type of movement and it, it, just in general. So well, I'm trying to welcome you into geek culture. Please come. Uh, I'm not very good at comics, but anime, let's go. Well, anyway, this is also a part of my hero si series that I am uh, trying to do. So... I'm telling you now, this piece, this piece right here, is insanely off the charts, okay? Uh, this is the one, the only, I, I feel like this is on the same level of no words said, you know? Uh, words not said, I what? it doesn't matter. How can I be a fan and not know the titles? It's just how I am. It's how I am. So, uh, that's why I'm really happy I never ended up on stage trying to say lyrics because I'm still trying to decode the lyrics myself. And I might not be, like, super, super smart, but it's not always about understanding. Sometimes it's about feeling what you hear. And I always felt what I needed to feel whenever I listen to this music. So, this this particular piece, I'm, I keep going off on tangents, my apologies. I just really, really love this piece. Uh, the Tale of Three Cities. And 
in this piece. I'll go ahead and show it to you. Uh, in this piece right here, this is the tale of three cities. Over here, I have New York. Over here, I have uh, Shot Town, and under the reflection of Shot Town is Indianapolis. Uh, over here, uh, I'm going to put explosions and the two towers uh, on fire or in, within the explosion over here. And then the explosion is going to go across from the back and through the city into Shot Town. A lot of people believe that uh, what happens over here doesn't affect over here. And sure as enough, we'll never get to here. But the reality of it is, is that everything that happens anywhere on the earth re reflects and hits us all. You know, uh, whether it's a stray bullet in Detroit or, you know, a hurricane, um, the, the islands, it all shakes us. I believe that when we die, we return to the earth. We're buried. Energy doesn't, doesn't destroy itself. It's moved from one place to another. Or is transformed, and but the space has already been used and can't add on to it, and that we are all one force, you know. So if if we die, we return and we feed the ground, and the ground feeds in return the animals, the plants, the insects, and they feed us, and that is that is what the circle of life is all about. And that being said, it, this is the idea. Uh, so the actions and choices and what we consider to be terrorism is attacking us when all reality is that terrorists have always been in our own backyard, you know, uh, terrorism and hatred and pain. It's always been here. It hasn't gone anywhere. And we pay more attention to 9-11 than we do, you know, our home. Fun fact, my best friend is from Shada, family, family from Shadown, Shadown, his family line, Shadown, Shadown. Well, my family's from Gary, ish, half is Gary, uh, Crystal Lake City in the house, uh, but, but terrorism and more terrorism is a reflection of pain. And what sucks is that their their terrorism is being funded by my city, you know, Aptown. Uh, Aptown. Yeah, it's down. But it's, it's bit, they're getting their guns from here because we have, you know, less gun laws in Shot Town. So, you know, why, why, why are they wasting their time in trying to get one? there when they can come here and get it, you know, real quick. Not to mention the meth runs that are coming through Indianapolis now and crap like that. So, uh, bank got robbed a few times up there. Fishers, Carmel's, and Overville uh, from people uh, from Fort Wayne and Gary and shit. So, excuse me. Didn't mean to drop that word. Great. Don't know if I can put this on there now. Wow. Anyway, I. Uh, so. This is amazing uh, piece that I'm working on right now. I'm going to put the clouds on the background. I want to put an open letter to Lupe in the background. Uh, underneath in the darkness, it says deaf ears. Uh, I'm going to put three balloons kind of escaping the explosion. It's going to say MIA, uh, Made in America. Missing in action. Uh, and that's that's just a little baby. So, again, that's my hip-hop. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. I almost ran out and forgot the most important part. Now, a lot of people are looking at the armor and saying, oh, that's Superman right there. That is Superman, right? But no, nah, that's, that's not Superman, bruh. That's, uh, that's Lex Luthor. Why are you going to put Lupe as Lex Luthor, Aaron? Well, Lex Luthor is a really complicated character. And he's uh, kind of been up and down. At times he's here to save the city. At times he's not here to save the city. 
and a lot of his decisions are selfish, you know, uh, they're kind of for his well-being more than for the city's well-being, uh, and to me, Lupe kind of reflects that character. If I had to choose a, a character that I think Lupe would be, I would. I think he would be a DC character in a Marvel universe, you know? And I feel like where you might see J. Cole and uh, Kendrick Lamar like Iron Man and Captain America, I think in the middle... You have Lupe, and he can't be compared to either character because he's not even from that universe, you know? And then you have the fact that he is posing in that Superman suit. Now, when you see that symbol, you think, oh, he's here to save you. But I don't think he's here to save you. I think he's here to teach you to save yourself. And that's a little bit hard to take in because... Uh, when you look at somebody and you expect them to be the hero, the heroine, and they inform you that you know you you're you're the one that's going to save yourself, it kind of crushes their image, and uh, I think Lupe's kind of been doing that for ten plus years, eleven years, and people can't see him as being a prophet or a hero or someone to look up to. Because he's telling you to go get it yourself. He's giving you warnings. He's saying, look here, look there. Open your eyes. And that's what I think uh, sets him off as being someone that is out there. Plus, his, his Twitter account is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> so, uh, I really wish I knew more about him. I wish... Uh, I can meet him, I wish, you know, uh, I can show him this piece. But that's another day, an another lifetime, I guess. And maybe if I continue or if somebody finds me as an artist to be uh, worthy of uh, investing in, they'll go, do you want Lupe? Do you want to meet Lupe? And I'll go, what? And I'll be off. Well, well that, that was that piece. I'm sorry I drone on a lot uh, for this piece. Uh, this piece means a lot to me. Uh, so there's a lot to talk about when it came to this piece. Definitely want to say uh, thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for checking in on this video. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, get a t-shirt. Let's keep this going. You know, uh... Let's keep, let's keep, keep me here, keep me doing these designs, keep me doing this artwork. Uh, donations are welcomed, and most importantly, most importantly, uh, if you're not doing what you want to do in life, go out there and do it. Uh, I'm currently unemployed, uh, putting in an appeal for an unemployment. <laughs> I have no money, there are days when I don't eat, there are days when I do eat, but to me, the only thing that matters right now is just art, you know, so... Do what you're passionate about. Do it. Do it and do it till they come and knock on your door until you're evicted or some some crazy crap like that. You know, uh, practice and being present. And I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.